Hello, my name's Nick, and today I'll be doing a Maglite uh, D cell switch removal, um, strip down and reinstallation. Um, well, uh, my Maglite is currently running a um, rechargeable batteries. Um, they don't recommend in the manual. They don't recommend using rechargeables, but to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's just because rechargeable batteries give a lower voltage. They give a 1.2 instead of a 1.5 that you get less power out of the out of the bulb and it's not as bright. So if you are going to be using rechargeables like I am, just switch down to a uh, lower voltage bulb, so a 4.5 volt bulb instead of a 6 volt and uh, yeah it'll be just as bright as before and the convenience of a rechargeable. So what you want to do is you want to first of all remove the head okay take out the bulb if you're thinking about getting a um, upgrade module um, like I have been thinking about I wouldn't really bother because here in Australia they charge you about $64 an upgrade module and the torch itself $74 so you, you may as well just buy the whole, a whole new torch and then have two instead of just buying the bulb so take out your batteries then what you do is you come over here to the switch and you pull out this okay now maglite uh, market their flashlights as being um, waterproof but they're not waterproof because the switch comes out so easily um, so don't expect them to be completely waterproof they're actually splash proof so you put this in here straight down and you give it four and a half turns back so one okay push pull that out push the switch in and push it out Now just give it a bit of a shake. You can put something through the other end if you'd like. But uh, yeah, that just works just as well. Now, what you then do is from this side, and you push out this blue um, switch. Be careful not to bend that, that tab too much. Um, I just put my Allen key down there just to hold it while I push the switch out. There you go, the switch comes out and that's left. Okay? Now from there what you do is you turn it around to here. You reinsert the Allen key and you unscrew this. It's a bit stiff so try and grease it up before you reinstall it. Okay, pull this out. As you can see, a spring and a contact comes out. Okay. And then from in here, there's a plastic insert. Now if you twist this, if you turn that, another one comes out. Okay, then, you put these aside. Then this comes out. Okay? You're left with a hollow switch assembly. Now with the switch itself, um, all you do is just pull hold the blue and pull the black thing out slowly. Careful not to let the springs and stuff go flying. Alright, that's got nothing in it, so you put that to the side, take out the spring. Alright, take out the contacts on the side, push the switch assembly in, take out, there's a silver ring, alright, and this switch. Then you push through and the rest of the switch will come out. That then breaks up into another two parts.
okay, and you put them to the side. Then you've got your switch. Alright, now, what I will do is, in the next video, I will reassemble it all together and uh, button it all up. I'll just quickly go over all the parts so you can see. You've got the switch, with the housing, one contact, second contact and uh, switch, uh, thread, ring, uh, switch, 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 um, battery contacts, spring, housing, bulb spring, bulb contact, plastic sleeve, metal jacket, 